All right. What's up, my beautiful people? It's your boys, Mr. 20 West in the building. And today, I am using the GoPro Hero 7. Uh, this is not like, I don't know. It's, a, I guess, a test run. I don't even know if this is going to make it to where I wanted to make it to. Which is IGTV. If it's good enough for IGTV, it's good enough for me. Uh, open up the... Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. I didn't want to open it up because, you know, um, I got the air running. And when I got the air running, oh, oh, I ain't doing That's the good thing about being in the car is you get AC. Now, a lot of people... Come on, Mr. Squirrel. Chill out. I swear, squirrels, squirrels are the most suicidal creatures on the face of the planet. They will just jump in front of a car in seconds. I don't know if they haven't understood cars or what, but you would think a species would evolve to know, okay, I see the car, let me not jump in front of it. Nope, not them, they uh, just jump there, just right there, whatever. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I, was, I had a dream last night, right? And by dream, I mean I was actually sitting up watching YouTube. <laughs> and in it, I watched uh, T, uh, us going to Detroit, which was a very good, that was a, man, that vlog was dope. And then I might have clicked on another link, what happened to uh, MySpace. And like, see, people wouldn't think it correlates together, but it do. Because people went from, you know, kind of keeping a keeping to themselves or the, the humbug, the biggest thing ever. Like you had to really fix your page up for people to visit. And, you know, you had to have music on there. You had to have little graphics in the background. And like, I, I remember asking my cousin, like, man, um, like, how do you do all this graphic stuff? And he was like, letting me know. Uh, you know, basically he helped me uh, build my page on there, but I remember that was like the most important thing And then as I graduated from high school entering college uh, Everybody kept telling me man. You got to get you a Facebook. You got to get you a Facebook. You got to get you a Facebook and I was like Man, I don't know if I want a Facebook like what what are you guys doing there? You know, you just make a post and post pictures and you know it just, it really take off. You get some likes on there and, and people like view it and stuff. And I was like, well, I don't know about that. But the more I kept hearing about it, the more I kept hearing about people, families reconnecting on Facebook. So of course I was like, well, shoot, I would love to see what my family be doing in Michigan when I'm not visiting for vacation. Like, uh, you know, let me see. So I, I made me a Facebook uh, account and that was like, what am I doing? You know, I had every morning I had a post, I had a comment that I wanted to post. You know what I mean? Like, I would sit down at night and I'd be like, hmm, I wonder what I want to post tomorrow. Boom, 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 boom. I would make a note of it. And when I woke, woke up in the morning, I would post the comment. And I'm like, dang. And I did that for like almost a year. And then, like, you know, the more likes I got, the more people, like, kept viewing my page, the more folks kept accepting my friend requests. It seemed like overnight, it just got, like, got out of control. Like, I couldn't control it no more. And, well, and then, you know, to speed it up to my little dream, uh, I kind of ended up doing YouTube. So, with YouTube, I, will, I, I already knew that I wanted to make videos before I even made a video. I was like, yo, I would love to show, you know, my point, my perspective of what's going on and how I view things. Cause I already was doing that on Facebook by reposting something that I thought was like very important. Something I felt like it was close to me. So I know people probably looking at me in my car. They probably like, well, what kind of jam is he listening to? But <laughs> I was like, yeah, man, let me make me a video and post it on YouTube. And the thing about YouTube that's so funny is it has an algorithm which means the, the the tags that you use at the uh, at the bottom of the page it kind of links into a system and the more people click on other videos the more they end up seeing yours 
but you have to do certain things for it to pop up on other people's pages so people can click it and be like, oh, okay, this is what this video is about. And when I first started YouTube, I didn't have, I didn't have no views, so I didn't know what I was doing. So we, all, I, I, I also, I started off with nothing, like completely nothing, no help from nobody, just like by myself. I'm posting YouTube videos, and as it got. It, as it started going, it started progressing from just YouTube videos to uh, now I want to do reviews, you know, for people. Now I'm doing commercials for people. Oh, now I want to, you know, maybe try to do a music video. Or now, you know, what I mean, it's it per, it's per, slowly progressing from what it was to what it is now. And like, I really enjoy doing it, and I'm looking into making that a career somehow. I don't even. I mean, YouTube would be awesome if I was blowing up that fast, but YouTube takes time for you to build an audience where some people, they have the, I, I want to say, not know-how, but they have the money to back them up to where they can be ahead of everybody. You get what I'm saying? Like, they can buy the best cameras and then they can afford to travel and do all this other crazy stuff. So you just be like, all right, I see them getting their views up. That's that's what's up, you know what I mean, like, overnight, I have seen people start off with, like, five subscribers, and over a month time, they had 18,000 subscribers, I really, I'm, I'd be at shock, I'm really at a shock sometimes at the, the tenacity of some certain people, because, like, they say if you keep posting every day, like, if you're uh, a consistent poster, uh, your, your videos are gonna blow up, your, your audience gonna get bigger uh you, you're gonna like move a lot faster and i'd be like i don't even know how that that how do they have time to do that you know what i mean but uh going to vegas it kind of made me be like man i would i could i could probably like i, I got to shadow my cousin Kalisto creations in vegas and um it was pretty cool man he was showing me his job basically and it was pretty fire though the only downside that I seen to my cousin's job is that you have to be you have to be a shark man like the work doesn't come to you you have to come to the work you know what I mean like you gotta wake up and you gotta make these big plugs and connections with people so they refer you to you know they refer you to other people so other people be like yeah man so and so had the best pictures they had the best video and I was like Man, I sure would like to do that. Because, I mean, in Atlanta, it's really hard for you to, uh, you know, to get anything bumping, to get anything moving, because everybody literally is doing that here. And, and it's like, the market is pretty saturated as far as photographers go. Now, you got good photographers, and then you got rinky-dink photographers, which I would say rinky-dink photographers is, is a terrible thing, but, you know, it, it matters how people take your picture and it matters what what type of tools that they're using to take your picture you know so you can get that extra crispiness so you can get that next level thing i've been places where people i've seen teenagers with these high high-end cameras and i'm like i wonder do you even know how to use that but i mean you know i don't question you know people doing things like that because that's how you learn you you know you learn like through experiences and stuff so so i was just looking and just to tie back in to all this social media stuff i was looking at my girl video like i said and i was like dang man she's like really she really recording our life right now like sometimes i just get real quiet and my lady be like what's wrong you all right everything good i'm like yeah I'm just, I think I'm just soaking in the moment right now. Like, I'm really enjoying life. And I'm like, you know, you ever went to a quiet place, you don't hear no sounds, and you just sit there like, man, this is really a thing. And, and I'm curious to see where YouTube and this whole filming yourself goes. You know, uh, it's funny that YouTube celebrities, they don't really... Uh, get enough mention like celebrities do, you know. And then celebrities, I think celebrities really look down on YouTube stars because it's just like, how did y'all do this? 
you know, I done worked my whole life to get to where I'm at, and it seemed like you just did this overnight, which they didn't. They kind of, you know, worked pretty hard, but now there's a shortcut, and, and, and sometimes in life, that's kind of what happens. You take the hard route, and you've been pushing it out for years, and people just, they're used to you doing your grind, and they, they're used to that. But then you have a shortcut in life that kind of like speeds people by. It's it's kind of it's wild. It's really wild, and that's just like how life evolves. But anyway, it's your boy, it's Mr. Twenty West. I hope you enjoy this car vlog. I guess this is what I'm doing right now. I mean, this is not something that I plan on doing forever because when I get my bike back together, which I have my tire, I just gotta get a free Saturday to go get my tire changed. And we're going to be back on.